with liberty and freedom and social justice, how we should treat one another. These are Christian in origin, aren't they? They are. And the other point here, Alan, you mentioned the uh, census. It shocked me that the most uh, common illness relates to mental health. Mm. And as you know, uh, it's a personal uh, matter, but we lost our son, James, in a hit and run accident 20 years ago this uh, last week. And we turned to many things, but religion was vital. If you don't have a sense of, uh, you know, of something higher, something comforting, something reassuring in terms of, uh, well, it gave us a spiritual sense of uh, God's plan. The reason why so many people, I'd argue, are turning to drugs or sexting or that their mental illness is such a great issue, so prevalent, is because we've denied that Christian sense of spirituality, of transcendence. Just one final thing before we go. I'm just listening to what you're saying there. So when you talk about alcoholism and depression and anxiety and suicide and drugs and so on, just briefly say to our viewers, uh, explain to our viewers, how can religion offer reassurance and comfort? It's, uh, it, it's a very uh, profound question, but uh, in a book I wrote uh, about this, uh, Taming the Black Dog, I talk about literature, and you'd appreciate that, teaching resilience, courage, overcoming adversity, mm. stories like the Iliad, the Odyssey. But I also talked about religion, and one uh, Christian mystic, Julian of Norwich, she talks about having faith in something higher more divine. Yes, let nothing spiritual. disturb you, let nothing frighten you. Everything passes away except God. Does that apply to people who Very are suffering true. anxiety from big uh, electricity bills, the worry that their children are not being yeah. taught things at school that they should be taught, that they're being indoctrinated, that their weekly take home pay is not enough to pay the bills? How does religion help them through those crises? The other quote there, uh, my wife uh, often quotes this as well, is that Julian of Norwich argues, all shall be well, all shall be well, all manner of things shall be well. And it's interesting, T.S. Eliot uses that quote in one of his poems. So if you're alone, solitary, you have nothing to draw on in terms of giving you a sense of faith, of uh, having the courage to endure, to find uh, that sense of spiritual wholeness, then that's why people, I think, turn to alcohol or to drugs. Mm. And that's why mental illness is yeah. so prevalent in society. I think this uh, is, And that's the issue. Yeah, I think this needs wider discussion. It's good to talk to you. We always run out of time, but we must talk again. I just think when we're sick of saying some of these things, other people who are in desperate need may begin to hear them. 